Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Well, today, as you can see behind me here, pretty crappy, rainy day out. It's kind of cool out today, too. So I'm going to get this one golf cart here back in the back garage, maybe give myself a little bit of room up here. And I think I might do some more work to the old uh, junkyard golf cart here because it's pretty cocked over. You know, I found a couple new problems with last night. I found out that the axle, drive axle strip on it. So that's about a 200 bucker to fix that, which ain't bad. I thought it'd be more than that, to be honest with you. And I also found a motor online for $637 and it's got 10% more torque. So I might order that up and put that in the blue cart here and take the whole motor out of the blue cart and put it in this, in this other cart. Leave a comment down below if you think it should do that. Well, I would. Why wouldn't you? But like I said, it's actually kind of cool out today too. It's just, it's, it's the end of September. What do you expect? How you doing? How you doing, bud? What do you expect, right? It's gonna get cold. There's nothing we can do about it. Let's get this car, golf cart out of this garage and put it in the back garage. Thank God I have a back garage and thank God I don't have a van anymore. I wouldn't go back there. I'd be out of room right now. What the hell is the traffic today? I wouldn't have any room back there, so thank God I have some room back there, so let's get that done. Why wouldn't we? So I don't know if you guys can tell or not, I'm not exactly the best person when it comes to book smarts, eh? Like, I have a hard time just uh, figuring out what's really going on most of the time. But I do know one thing. If I would have read on that body of the, the old one I got there, axle stripped, I probably wouldn't have got it. You don't think of them things sometimes. Who would read a big uh, tape mark sticker on the side of it saying axle stripped? Not me, obviously. Oh well, hey, not everybody can be perfect. That's what I say. We're only here a short time. Well, just do what you gotta do. Look at that, she fits right in, Jim. So that will keep this one dry today. But yeah, look at over there. Right in a big blue tape mark on the side of the body there, it says axle stripped. Can you see it? If you can't, that makes two of us, obviously. Axle stripped. Cocked myself right over there, I did. All right, so now that we're back up front, I did lower the door a little bit, because my neighbor, I'm pretty sure, worked nights last night. And I'm gonna try to keep the noise to a minimum, because his room's in the front of the house, but I can't stop living because my neighbor works nights, unfortunately. Sorry about that, big guy. I did get to cutting this apart yesterday. I got this cut out on the other side. As you know, I did that on the last video. But I got this cut out and I got this bar that goes up here cut out. And let me tell you what, that wasn't very friggin' easy last night. I think I spent about two and a half hours cutting that out. I got her out and like I said, everything around it is pretty solid. It's just the main bars were bad. I'm gonna take this out too. We'll cut that off and uh, I'm gonna re-clean that up and weld a new piece of metal in here for that. And then that will be good. So once we're done that, we're gonna be pretty close to being able to clean this frame. Well, we gotta build a battery box, but that's no big deal. But other than that, once we're done that, we can start cleaning her up and actually, you know, maybe slap some paint on her. We gotta build new rear end dudes and we gotta get another axle, as you can see. Drive axle, of course. And uh, I know we gotta cut this off and put a new piece in the back bumper area. It's not as much work as it looks. Let me tell you what. We'll get this bar cut and we'll Get her slapped in there and see what it looks like. Because that's what we do. Where's my doodad? Where's my grinder? What do you do with it? Eat it? How the f do you lose a grinder? Corner might as well know. Oh, there it is. All right, so first thing we want to do is cut this one. Or that one. Whichever one you want to cut first, you can cut. Put that one. So we'll move this one out of the way. Let's see if we can't cut this one somewhere. You can't do it outside because it's raining. How the hell am I going to do this, damn it? Where's my other thing? What the hell's really going on here? Remember, always wear your safety gear. Crocs and whatnot. There we go. That was easy. You see how I did that? Good, because I didn't. So now that that's done, we can slide this up in here, because this is where this one goes. And I know that we're going to have to notch a little bit more out of the body up here, because like I said on the last video, this is a little bit thicker than the other stuff. The first thing I want to do is just double check to see what the hell's really going on. So that's what's really going on. So as you can see right there, that's the little spot I got to notch out 
So that will slide up in there. And then you'll fit like a glove. I'm trying to keep the grinding down to a minimum today. Because like I said, I don't want to make too much noise, but hey. That should work just fine, as you can see. We can bend that right out of there. There we go, see, just like that. Now we can slide this bar right up and through. Are you ready? Oh, careful. There it is, just like that, Cap. Not much to it, right? And that's a new bar, so we'll and we'll and we'll and then she'll be ready to go. So now that we're done this front bar, like you've seen here, we've got to cut this one to go in here. I'm going to do the proper thing, maybe, and give this one the angle of the dip go the way it's supposed to be. So here we go. So there's one side. There we go. So actually, that should do it right there, actually. There we go. See? Not too bad. Sure, it's not, like, done by a chop saw or anything, but hey is what some say. So now that's done, we can kind of slide that right into there, like this. And then this will make our frame again. I'm talking kind of calm today. Hopefully you enjoy it. Careful! It says careful. Never grind with a cutting disc, because things could happen that you're just not really liking it. That's too short. That must be the wrong one. Here we go. Ah, hey, ah. All right, there we go. Let's see if we'll go in now. Sure will. That's there is a pretty nice thing, if I could say so myself. So there we go. See, we got her in there, down here, and on the same angle as the dangle. So all we could do now is weld that in, and that will make this part hard as dicks, just like that one. I have to say one thing. We are making some good progress here today. Friggin' right we are. It's almost time for coffee, I'm thinking. I may tack this stuff in, because that's what I do. This could have been a little bit higher, but it doesn't really matter. We'll figure it out. And then we got that tacked in. So now we can lay her down and we'll do the top part. Now the easiest way to lay down one of these carts is to just grab a hold of her and give her a drop job. Hey, set. Oh, hey boys, look at the back end. She's freaking down there, Jim. Well, let me tell you, this thing is getting solid now, let me tell you. Oh, God, yeah. Build a new frame, my butt cheeks. That is a new frame. Yep. Very good, right. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. As you can see, we're coming along really good, and this frame's going to be solid when we're done. So 
Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you like it. I'm glad you're all here. And until the next one, hopefully we've done the framework. So I don't bore you by a framework. But hey, it takes days to do this. And I enjoy it. So it is what it is. Love y'all. Until next time. You know what to do for now.